the first Pharos that we wanted to do was, was kind of, we're seeking some kind of alternate experience for live entertainment. And it didn't necessarily have to be only music. You know, Donald is multi-hyphenate. And so we wanted to create a, a world that like a fan could step into and feel like they could touch all these different parts of entertainment. I think for us, it, it was like an answer to what was happening that we didn't like in the major music festival space. And so we, you know, we didn't want to call it a festival. We wanted to call it an experience. And a goal of ours is always like, how do we give back? something you know at the end of this and like is there something we can create in augmented reality that lets that person go back to that moment for a second and that was really exciting so then we started talking about all the different things that you know augmented reality could provide for us whether it be messaging or um, you know secret hidden Easter eggs and and it, it really just like spoke to our brand and it felt like it was the right move uh, to associate with the Pharos experience but I can see uh, a lot of functionality and a lot more uh, productivity coming out of AR in the next uh, couple of years. Any brand that gets in early and starts to understand some of the challenges and limitations will be much more poised for that next step when it really becomes consumer friendly and becomes ingrained in consumer behavior. Primarily, it's the fact that it's a shared experience. I've never seen that before as far as AR where the phones are aware of each other in the space and you can actually go through an experience together. So I think, I think the multiplayer is gonna be what really kind of surprises people. From a very technical standpoint, we made the decision to go with Unity because the integration with AR Core was much more advanced. And the AR Core plugin gave us the ability to leverage uh, cloud anchors. Cloud anchors allow developers to easily create like a frame of reference that matches the digital and physical world uh, so that it's much easier to create a multiplayer experience. So uh, one of the uh, UX uh, workarounds we did was that as people approach the portal, it would actually extend out to them. The portal is the anchor. So everyone who's using the app together sees the portal in the same place in the room. And that would let us use a, a much smaller footprint for the experience. That helped a lot. We did a lot of R&D around the particle systems in the early days, and we were asked to make this a cross-platform experience. The interesting thing is uh, there are differences in the GPUs, even between the Pixel phones, so Pixel 2 versus Pixel 3. So we were dealing with different chipsets. So we ended up going with the native uh, Unity particle systems because it was the most universal. I did get a chance to sit behind the team like in real time. I could say, wow, that's really cool, but it just like the, the tree needs to be a little bit more purple and, uh, and, and couldn't it be pulsing outwards? And within a matter of seconds, you know, these, these engineers could dial in that effect about 90% of the way. So for myself or even for a guy like Donald, who doesn't have a lot of time to like come in and just sit all day at something, you can easily communicate your ideas, see if you're in line and walk away and know that the next day it'll be perfected. Conversations that I have with Donald, whether it extends to like, you know, when we when we work on a show or we work on a film, we always talk about texture. And I think with AR, in terms of a narrative, I think we're trying to just tell a broader story that can expand from like, you know, uh, Donald's first record to his last movie. Like it just, it sh this should feel like a world, even if things don't tie directly together, that they have these moments that can kind of um, build some, some, some real estate in people's mind, you know. We were really excited about this project because bringing so many minds together to build something amazing is what we love to do. Unity shines when it's in the hands of like amazing creators. There was just a, a openness and a willingness to work together from the very start that lasted all the way through the completion of the project that I've only been fortunate enough to experience once. I think Pharos AR will be like um, a way for, you know, there's a conversation or there's like a, hey, you got to come try this or, or it inspires them to use a different application, um, you know, with portals or whatever. I think that's, that's what I'm most excited to see come out of this is the aspect of our fans speaking to one another and kind of teaching each other how to use this.